Y'all, I gotta show y'all. These airhead bites right here, I have been eating them nonstop. Like there's, I'm surprised there's two left in here. Yeah. So yeah, Jerry told me to weigh myself before I got here and then weigh myself after because I'm so full. And I'm about to eat again. This is all the trip is about, you know? Family and food. Whew, because when I get back home, I am going to be in shape again and get super toned up and tight because right now I ain't looking that right. Ooh, bars. Wow. <laughs> hey guys, listen. Good. I'm talking kind of low because there's some people sleeping, but I'm excited to eat. Hey, babe. Ooh, back again. Yas, and there's Hansi. Man, goodness. I've been eating good, y'all. Just got back from the gym. Um, check out Queen D Fitness. I'll post all the clips and everything on there. But uh, yeah, I need a shower, but I'm, I'm ready to eat this crawfish first. This is the park. Oh wow, they put the water in. Wow, that's the man-made lake. It was just dirt, and now it's getting filled in. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> You're going back by yourself. <laughs> you ready, Nick? Here comes Jordan. Ready? Send you back. <laughs> you have your hands in the air too. Yeah. Don't try this at home. Yeah, don't try this at home at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Joe. Who are you saying? What? Who are you saying? I'm six two. Oh, he was saying he was six. Yeah, and I I said um well I'm six. <laughs> and I, I I said la la because he will say if you say one more word then I'll give oh, you in favorite. trouble and I'll say. La la, I'm talking, la la, I'm talking. <laughs> hey, grapevines. Oh my goodness. Woo, I had to take this off. 
Yeah. Whew, oh, it's, this thing is hot, y'all. It's hot and sweaty, but yeah, I'm on the base right now. Just left the Navy Exchange. Danielle. Had to get, yes. Oh, I'll get it. I have it already. Um, Get some stuff, treats and stuff for my babies. Cause I have to always bring them back something if they don't travel with me. Like they, they say I'm traveling to pick them up treats and come back. So yeah, y'all, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna, I'm trying to track down this game for my son, for Jer Bear. Um, so we're gonna check out to see if uh, GameStop is open. Cause he's been really into wrestling lately. And it's kind of like nostalgic because I used to be big into wrestling. Like The Rock was like my thing. I was like The Rock, Triple H, what there's like the heart, some twins, Kane, Undertaker. Yeah, y'all. Well, back when it was WWF, but. So yeah, it's really cool that he's into wrestling right now. Hey mom, hey dad. So how have you guys been handling this whole like stay at home situation. Uh, I'm fine with it. Whatever it takes to be safe. Yep. Do our part. Okay. So y y you haven't been struggling? No. With it? No. Oh, no. wow. Uh, no, not really at all. Uh, <laughs> the boredom gets over, well, men sometimes, but we play board games together as a family and watch, uh, watch TV, watch movies, things like that. And Sometimes we go out to the park to Bye. buy time, and we bought bikes, so we bike sometimes. Which is, y'all are lucky because bikes Hard sold out so yeah. quick. Oh, trust me, we had to go hunt for just the bikes we found. It was, uh, it wasn't easy. It took us a while. Mm, wow. And uh, a lot of the bike shops, you know, their their prices, you know, I think we we went to one bike shop. The $600. cheapest bike they had was six hundred dollars. Oh, you yeah, think and then, they marked it up or all the cheap oh, ones yeah. were gone? Yeah, oh no, they everybody's marking up if any, you know, on bicycles or mm -hmm. anything essential for that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, we saw a change in the prices in groceries. Stop. Meat is going up a lot. Water. And that's crazy. Groceries should stay because if anything, they're the ones that, they're the only businesses that are like thriving right now. It's well, like yeah. grocery stores, like Walmart, Target, Costco, all that stuff. Well, they're going up because they're. The, the contaminations at the meat plants and and the, the truckers are going on strike so mm. a lot of that's becoming hard for grocery stores to get so they're having to mark it up because they don't have a play you know they have to sell it yeah so it, it I, I get it everybody's kind of upset and everybody's kind of like uh you know really worried about their own bottom dollar but i think right now it's just important that everybody kind of pulls their part do their part just to get us through this. I don't think it'll last forever. Uh, it'll get better. Just gotta be patient. Mm. That's all. Okay. Yeah, it's been, I mean, just today, it sucks. Like the first couple days I was here, stuff was shut down um, still. But I feel like stuff, even just in the last couple days, has been opening up. So it seems like it's getting back to normal. Arizona is like fully, the whole stay at home order it has been lifted this week. So starting today, I don't know. Over the weekend, it was lifted, so. Um, and it'll stay that way as long as everybody's like, not, you know, everybody's practicing, you know, safe distance, good hygiene. As long as everybody's practicing that, that's it'll stay that way. But if they don't, and and they start to get more infections, they're gonna have to shut it back down, and that's gonna be worse. Yeah. Because then, uh, by then, they've already exhausted trillions of dollars of aid and they're not going to want to re keep doing that every time we get outbreaks so it's going to get harder the more we go through those outbreaks yeah so that's why people have to really practice that social distancing do you feel like we should still be closed or do you think we should start opening up i, I don't know uh I don't know if we can afford to stay closed that long. In my opinion, I think what we should have did was two things I think we could have done. Uh, is we could have locked down the border before this even got to us because we knew that people were coming in and infected. Mm -hmm. uh, and including our own people. They should have been quarantined in different places. And instead of paying for flights to get them home, 
we could have paid for hotel rooms and given them a check to stay there where they are, and it'd probably be cheaper. Uh, that's one two, the one thing. The other thing I think we could have did was we could have just did like the measles and just infect everybody and made everybody stay at home for two days, two weeks. If you get to the point where you can't breathe or you need a hospital, then you go to the hospital. But uh, I don't know. There's just so many. Where there are other ways I think they could have done this, but in hindsight, what can you do? It's where we are where we are. Yeah. And right now we're at a point where everybody's just scared. Everybody's right. scared to touch, breathe. Are you scared? Uh, as an asthmatic, yeah, I am a little scared uh, mm. because you never know where you can get it from. I mean, we had 100 and 200, about 200 affected cases in our parish, which is a very small parish. We had about 200 affected cases, and I think four died, maybe four. And we're a very small parish, so without knowing how I could get it from them, all these hundred or two hundred people, I, I don't know how I could get it. Like walking through a hardware store and just touching a the box they touch just before me, you just don't know. Uh, so yeah, I am afraid, and, and I've had family members that had to go to the hospital with, uh, you know, right now during this time, and you can't even go in the hospital with them. Yeah, they, you're pretty much just dropping them off and trusting the hospital to do what they're gonna do. But suppose you drop them off and they catch while they're there and something goes wrong you never know there's been too many horror stories